Uganda is currently experiencing phase four of the COVID-19 outbreak with widespread community transmission amid its low levels of adherence to the standard operating procedures as given by the Ministry of Health. And this complacency is coming up at the time when we should instead be heightening our vigilance and compliance with the measures of properly wearing face masks, regular hand washing or sanitizing, maintaining social distance, avoiding crowds, and boosting our immunity. The community engagement strategy for COVID-19 response is geared at recruiting the public support towards the fight in eradicating the virus. The overall goal is that all people in Uganda are aware, empowered, and are participating actively in the prevention and control of COVID-19 as both a duty and a right. There are resources that can be supplemented, can be brought on both supplement government, and these resources are both financial and human, but also is token technical knowledge that can be brought on board. Local leaders have been urged to vigilantly sensitize, report, and assist any suspected COVID-19 patients within their communities. To ensure that the basic item called soap and water is utilized at all points, at all times. Because we talk of sanitizer, this sanitizer may not be so easy to find in the village. And I don't like this message of it is alcohol based. Some people think when you drink water, you have sanitizer. Huh? You are going to kill yourself for nothing. The basic item at the village level is soap and water. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water. According to the World Health Organization, COVID-19 cases in sub-Saharan Africa have increased over 1.5 million with 33,000 deaths in the last eight weeks. Shalota Muge for UBC News.